I'm an aerospace engineer. I have started at NASA. I went to the Ferrari Formula One race team, and then I've been called by McLaren to lead McLaren Technologies. And this is where I met Alejandro. And the conversation started about cyber technologies and the commercial vessels. I came with the idea of building a Formula E on the water. I have built basically everything, got the people and developed the project. The race bird comes from the idea of the seabird. Kind of find the inspiration from the birds gliding about the water. The natural shape was very much inspired from a bird beak, and then you have the wings coming down. We also need the right aerodynamics, which then became the starting point for the vision of the race birds. Of course, we needed the naval engineering and the opportunity that we found in Brunello compared to other potential suppliers is very high sensitivity on design. When Sophie showed me her initial ideas, I immediately understood that she had a very clear vision and I thought this was absolutely mind-blowing. The first step was to develop Frank. We needed Frankie to validate our simulation model. We had to make sure that this geometry was something that could work in practice. The first time that we saw Frankie taking off on the foils, it was a huge success. I mean, we were just so excited. In September 2021, we were in Monaco to launch the design of the first prototype of our race boat. What you're going to see here tonight is a result of years of hard work. We tried to come up with something never seen before. Let's reveal the race bird. It creates an emotion visually, which is very important. There was like a, a thunderstorm to sign a, a big change in the evolution of water mobility. After the first validation with Frankie, we had to work and head down to develop the Proto One in uh, nine months. To develop a completely new concept and design and make it work and perform in a racing format. It's quite a short timeline. So Proto One, at this stage, we were redesigning the boat and the foils. This was the greatest challenge. It was not easy at all because nobody has designed and engineered a race boat with these characteristics. Ideally, like 12.30, we should start thinking of putting the boat on the truck. It's tight, I know it's tight. Everybody's trying to keep very cool, but we have to move fast. The very last day that we have promised to our investor, so many challenges on the logistics and shipment. When we put, for the first time, Proto One in the water, there was an incredible level of excitement, but also anxiety. This is the moment. Is it working or did we completely fail? I'm nervous. I'm not going to lie. Okay, there it goes. Guys, it's moving. When we saw the boat taking off for the first time, this was the single most exciting wow. moment of the entire project, I would say. We put everything together in record time. After the river pole, we went to Lake Maggiore, also tested in Monaco, so we could stress test the boat. We learned that foil design is the single most difficult area of this project. Nobody would have suggested to use foils for a race platform. We had to use materials like carbon fiber, but we will continue trying to improve the quality in the most economic and sustainable way around the project. From Proto 1 to Proto 2, the biggest changes were the rear elevator. So a lot of work had to be done to make sure that the outboard unit didn't have a huge impact on the aesthetics. The final solution was to lift the whole body at the same alignment as the, the outboard. The next step then was how will it then look and perform in the water. One of the biggest challenges that we had was to put together four boats for Rotterdam Walpole days. It is last minute, trying to manage four boats simultaneously is a, a big step up. We essentially did a shakedown with all of them, we charged them, ran them on the water, checked everything was okay. We wanted to prove to our stakeholders that we can deliver as an organization with all our partners and suppliers. 
I can't wait for the season to start. This is the pinnacle of technology for the future of green, eco-friendly boating. Everyone performed in the best possible way. The boats have, have done exactly what they were supposed to do. This is the most technologically disruptive project I've ever worked in my life. Then to use this development straight into the commercial boats to showcase what the future of marine mobility will look like. I am incredibly proud of what we have achieved so far and certain that E1 will be a huge success in every corner of the world. This is the beginning.